Hello, my name is Darren Rice and I'm with Ultra Geothermal Incorporated. And what I'm here to show you today is the uh, components that you need coming off of your water well system on an open loop system um, for the geothermal heat pump unit. Um, so the best way to do this is to start at the very beginning. Most of your geothermal applications that are run on a well, or again called an open loop system, um, are operated with a combination of your geothermal heat pump and your domestic water for drinking water. So this is why we're going to show this particular instance of uh, a combination domestic water well with geothermal. Essentially, you have a supply line that comes in from your well, which is where I'm at right here. So as your supply line comes in, this right here is called your subdrive. The subdrive is a constant pressure controller for your well pump. It allows, what this does is it sends a frequency to your well pump and it keeps a constant pressure at the supply line at all times. So when you have a shared geothermal and domestic water well, you'll typically see a pressure gauge located just downstream as it comes into the building that's usually set somewhere between around 50 and 60 pounds of pressure. That is the type of water pressure that you need for your domestic water needs or drinking water needs. So as this comes in, this is now under 60, 50 to 60 pounds of pressure. This right here is a well tank. Um, this is what helps stabilize your pressure <clears throat> and also acts as a diaphragm for expansion in your water system. So comes to the tank, the supply line continues, and then this branch here, which is typically the first branch that you will see off of this, is going to your domestic water at the 50 to 60 pounds of pressure. As you continue on, this line continues on as you can see here, and it goes up to this filter. Okay, in another video you will see how that filter can be maintained, but here I'm here to explain just what it does. That is what they call a spin-down filter for your geothermal system. And what it is designed for, it is designed to keep sediment and large particulates from getting clogged up in either your heat exchanger, solenoid valves, and other things that might be in line with your geothermal heat pump on an open loop system. This cartridge inside of here, um, which you, I don't know if you can see very well, but anyway, there is a cartridge that is inside of here. That cartridge on a geothermal system should not be more than a 30 mesh screen filter. If the higher the number, the tighter the filter gets. So if you see a spin down filter cartridge inside here that says on the bottom of it, it'll say the number. It'll say 30, 60, 100, 120. You want to make sure it's always 30. 30 is not as fine of a screen it catches the things that it needs to catch. Sometimes when you have too tight of a mesh filter, what ends up happening is it clogs up too fast, restricts water flow going to your geothermal heat pump, and in turn causes the machine to lock out, or in some cases, ice up. So after you go to your spin down filter, the supply line continues through, and now it comes to this valve right here. Now, this is called a pressure reducing valve. It's a water pressure reducing valve. Some look like this, others look a little different, but most of them will always have this little set screw on the top and it will also have this little cone shape to identify that it's a pressure reducing valve. What the pressure reducing valve does is it now decreases the pressure that we talked about on the domestic water side that we said was between 50 and 60 PSI. And when you run out of this side of this pressure reducing valve, you go to another gauge over here. What we strongly recommend is running somewhere between 25 and 30 PSI water pressure to your geothermal heat pump. Um, you do not want to run 50 to 60 pound pressure to your geothermal heat pump. Thus the reason why the pressure reducing valve is installed. So to adjust this, you, if you find that on your gauge that your pressure is much higher than that 30 pounds or it is at that pressure, 
to adjust this, you would loosen the screw and you would adjust this either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on what pressure you want it to be at and you will see the pressure of it start to either drop or raise. You want to turn it so that it will bring the pressure to that 25 to 30 pound range. And then from this point, the gauge and this side of the pressure reducing valve, it then goes out and to your geothermal heat pump at that pressure. What's nice about the pressure reducing valve is it sustains at that pressure even if your domestic water is calling. So now your domestic water in your house when you go to use your shower is still at the 50 to 60 pounds of pressure that you want and it maintains the 25 to 30 pounds of pressure that you want to see on your geothermal system.